Well, I think it is something that needs to be encouraged. It's also an effort that needs to be emulated by other federations. And what am I saying this? I mean, it's uh, the military and the paramilitary have been at the forefront of a lot of the sporting glories and medals that this country has won. Yes. You know, in almost all the sports. I mean, don't forget, the first goal we won in the long jump came from someone that was part of the military paramilitary. You know, so for the judo tradition, and the president had noted, noted the fact that he's found out that there's some bit of winning interest and that, you know, the military and the paramilitary that in the past has been like a pool, like, you know, since a feeder, you know, for a lot of the competitions that the judo tradition needs to take part. It was no longer so. So this, you know, novel initiative to do this championship, you know, it's actually something that I believe is going to, you know, reignite and reinvigorate the interest of the media and the paramilitary. And I think that it's for me to use the opportunity to make a clarion call to other sporting competitions that, you know, that they should, their relationship with, you know, the various militaries and paramilitaries should be such that competitions of this nature should be organized in order for us as a country to continue to benefit from the huge sporting talents that exist in the military and the paramilitary. Okay, so do you think that you should take um, place in this particular sport? Do you encourage you to take place in this particular sport? No, why not? You know, one of the, the main attractions of sport at you know, Tony, you know, generally, judo, it's, it's, it's inclusiveness. So not just about the judo, but about every other sport. You know, the hallmark of sports is how much it's inclusive of everyone. You know, so why not? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.